Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about exfoliating your skin. It's such an important thing to do and I've realised not a lot of people actually do it regularly. Um, some people don't necessarily know the right products they should be using, how they should be doing it, how often or if at all. Now the reason we need to exfoliate is for cellular renewal. If you look at the skin of a young child, a baby obviously, uh, a teenager, a young adult up to the age of sort of maybe 20, 22, you've got this really plump, clear, soft skin. That's because the cell turnover is really, really fast and this depletes the older we get. And actually, around about the age of about 25, that is the time when <clears throat> a lot of these changes are happening within your skin and it's important to speed up the cellular renewal. So what exfoliating does is it sort of removes the cement between the cells, if that makes sense, of the skin, and allows those dead skin cells to slough off and show, reveal the newer, fresher, clearer skin. A good exfoliating product will brighten will make your skin feel softer, clearer, more clarified and it doesn't just translate through to a more radiant complexion, it actually makes things easier to put on. If you're putting on your serums and your moisturisers they're going to penetrate deeper because they're not fighting to get through this layer of... It, it's a bit like washing your hands, I mean you know you've got a layer of dirt on the top, we cleanse but we also need to exfoliate. So the products will go in deeper into the skin, they will work better. It's just making everything work uh, more efficiently. Your products, your, your makeup also will sit more, um, uh, more smoothly on your skin. Uh, so really you can't go wrong with exfoliating well. So there's two different types of exfoliating products. There's granular um, sort of scrubs, which can be a bit harsh and a bit scratchy. Um, there is one uh, granular product that I've got here which I really like and I'll show you but as a rule I tend to stay away from them because they often just scratch the surface of the skin as opposed to penetrate and really break down the, um, the elements within the skin that need to be the, the, the dead skin cells. So with a liquid exfoliant, so that's your other option, you're talking about acids, so we're, uh, we're going to be looking at uh, glycolic acid, lactic acid, which is uh, derived from milk product. Um, actually, if you think about the legendary stories of Cleopatra bathing in, in milk, that would be because the lactic acid in the milk would help smooth and exfoliate the skin. So yes, you've got glycolic acid, uh, mandelic acid, lactic acid, you've got alpha hydroxy acids, beta hydroxy acids. It sounds very confusing but really a good um, liquid lotion uh, either infused onto a pad or in a bottle that you can put onto a um, your own cotton disc and wipe over your face, that will do the trick. I've got a few here that I use that I'm really um, impressed with. First one I'm going to show you is by a brand called DCL, an American um, brand cosmetics, DCL Dermatologic Cosmetic Laboratories. Uh, I've used a lot of their products. These are really, really good. They're infused with the liquid. The pad itself is quite um, uh, textured as well, so uh, it's not exactly smooth. You would wipe this in a sort of circular motion over your face leave it for perhaps three to five minutes and then rinse. I've actually used this at night and not rinsed. I've kept the product on my face just to have that extra exfoliating uh, effect whether or not it's actually done its, you know, done its time over the three to five minutes. It's not going to do any more, I don't know, but I've, I've done that and, and it's been fine and I've put on maybe a really, really moisturising face mask some serums, uh, some serums first and a face mask and kept it on all night. Um, it's a really good product that, but it does sting when you put it on. Uh, if any product that you use that has a, a, an AHA, a BHA, any of these acids, if it stings to the point where you are really feeling it um, burning after a few seconds, then obviously I think you should rinse it off. 
One thing I would suggest, as with any products, is actually try and get samples. You don't want to be spending money on something that might cause your skin to react and inflame. Space NK are really good with samples. Uh, more difficult perhaps to give samples of uh, infused pads, but some, some product lines do have single sachet ones that they'll let you try. If there's something in liquid um, and Space NK don't have anything, you could just come in with a little bottle and say, pour some in for me, please. I'd like to try it, try before you buy. I've always done that um, and that's helped me eliminate wastage because not all products are gonna work for all skin types. My skin type's really dry and I've battled with hyperpigmentation. So exfoliation's been really key for me. So we've had the DCL pads. Another um, infused pad, which I think is really good, is, uh, this is Trish McAvoy. It's called Correct and Brighten Professional Strength Multi-Acid Peel. Uh, she suggests to use this once a week. I, I think my skin is probably well used to these acids, so I use this more frequently. It's supposed to be zero downtime. It is for sensitive skin. This is a mixture of acids. Um, again, there's no, uh, there's no formula to this. It's very simple. You literally tear open the sachet, pre-soaked pad, wipe it over your face, and you're good to go. You don't need to rinse this off. Um, the DCL ones do suggest you rinse off. This doesn't, so you shouldn't need to. Another one, which is a pre-soaked pad, Again, these are superb, really good. Murad Rapid Resurfacing Peel. This has some vitamin C in as well. So it's a concoction of some acids with some vitamin C. It smells really bright and fresh. Um, the, uh, I would say the Trish McAvoy is pretty much odorless. The DCL is quite strong and potent, smells quite alcoholic. Uh, if you're the kind of person that likes that, um, uh, likes to have a scent, then you may well really like these. They're very soft. I find this perhaps the most softening of all of the pre-soaked pads. My skin feels really, really soft after it. You wipe this over the face. It suggests keep it on, keeping it on for about three minutes, as the other products should as well, just to absorb it into the skin and let it do its work breaking down those, um, those dead skin cells. Now, this is a product I've talked about before. It's a brand called uh, Biologique Recherche. It's called Lotion P50. The P50 actually stands for peeling 50, 50 days. It's the um, recycle process, renewal process of the skin. This is supposed to be used uh, every two days and then when your skin can tolerate it, ramp it up to every day. You can start off by just tipping the product onto a pre-soaked cotton pad, maybe with a little bit of water already, so it's diluted. When your skin can tolerate it, just use it without the dilution of the water. And sweep it over the face, keep away from the eye area because um, you will experience a tingling with this. This doesn't smell really pleasant actually, it's got quite a strong aroma. Very good product, your skin will tingle uh, but you will see really good results. I, all of these products that I'm recommending deliver instant results. You will feel instantly clarified and if your exfoliator doesn't do that then it's not doing its job for your skin. This is a much more mild uh, daily exfoliant. It's the uh, Gentle Exfoliating Toner by Clarins. Um, it's so mild, I think I could even use this around my eye area, I probably have. Smells really, really lovely and for those who, uh, whose skin cannot tolerate anything stronger, as a daily toning exfoliator, I'd highly recommend this because it does the job of keeping everything at bay. It's not as strong as the others, granted, but um, it's always when I use it, even though I use stronger products as well, my skin will look renewed and refreshed and it's, uh, as I said, it smells really nice. So this is by a brand called Algenist and you'll see, if you can see in the bottle, it completely is uh, separated. You've got a green liquid here and a yellow liquid at the top. It needs to be shaken. The reason it's uh, biphase, it's called biphase peel. It has the microalgae oil that um, alginists use in all of their products and uh, it's, a, it's interesting. I won't necessarily go into too much detail about alginist as a brand, 
uh, but they've incorporated the oil into this and then the other for the other part of the um, uh, the peel is the acid that is required so the oil will it's just starting to separate again now having shaken it so you really do need to shake this up when you use it and what the oil will do is soften and moisturize at the same time and hydrate obviously and protect at the same time as the exfoliating factors take place so this leaves your skin intensely comforted but this has glycolic and salicylic and quite a high concentration um, really does leave the skin well well nourished and has the typical smell of alginous products to move on to a granular product in actual fact it's not really granular because the beads disappear but it's not liquid so um, it's breaking the mold for me this is by Goldfarden which is an American brand uh, stocked in Space NK very good products it's called Doctor's Scrub it is a uh, typical scrub hard, you can see hardly any left in there um, and the product you put on to damp skin and it's actually small crystals of ruby that when you massage into the damp skin dissolve and the um, there's obviously other components within it to soften and clarify this always leaves my skin feeling really really renewed now this is my um, my crown and jewel in the crown I think we could say with this I absolutely love this The Ordinary which has as a brand has taken the makeup world by storm and kind of really shaken it up with simple packaging good prices no gimmicks no pretty names certainly no nice scents this is a really vivid horrible colour actually it looks like this is perfect for this time of year Halloween you've got this red liquid I'm going to show you just so nobody gets alarmed when they actually use it here you go you rub this into your skin dry cleansed skin and it looks pretty intense all over the face obviously avoiding the eye area you avoid the eye area with all of these products this they suggest leaving on for 10 minutes no more and then rinsing off my skin really does feel renewed after this it is a great product it is not pretty when it's on it's not attractive it's not as simple as the pads that you can just wipe over that don't leave a residue and you can leave them on for three five minutes and then rinse off it requires a little bit more work you've got to walk around or sit down with a red face and wait 10 minutes but you know whatever really good product absolutely fantastic these are tried and tested they work they work for me and um, I really would not recommend unless I felt I could fully endorse all of them I w again would suggest with exfoliating uh, start slowly and move on um, and increase your um, in, and increase the number of times that you you exfoliate on a weekly basis but do start on start on a um, more cautious footing now with uh, with exfoliating one of the other benefits actually that I probably haven't really discussed is the natural increase in collagen production that exfoliating will facilitate and collagen of course helps plump uh, helps to provide more plump smooth skin as opposed to just clearer clarified skin so all round exfoliating is key it should be a key part of your skincare ritual as with any kind of uh, exfoliating product you do need to be particularly careful about using SPF because your skin is more at risk of being damaged by the sun's rays. It's you're, you're revealing newer, cleaner, clearer cells that are younger and fresher, therefore they are not as hardened. It stands to reason that a, a face that isn't exfoliated will have a hard layer, which is almost like a shell. So it's harder for the sun to penetrate and damage. When you keep removing that, your skin is softer. Make sure you use the SPF. We're winter now, but I would still recommend 50. If people can't tolerate 50 or don't want to use 50, then 30 should be a minimum. Plenty of products. I've 
done videos and talked about it. Anybody wants to ask me, please, um, you know, in the comments section below, be more than happy to uh, let you know again my suggestions, recommendations for good SPFs. If you've exfoliated the night before or that morning, always use the SPF. Make sure you do it. So um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what your feedback is. I'd like to know of other products that you use that you like or don't like. Uh, that would be really interesting, really useful. And um, I look forward to your feedback. I'll link all the products that I've talked about here below and I will see you in our next video. Bye.